Hello, this is a one handicap game between 9Q and 9Q plus on IGS. One handicap meaning that white has only half a point comb instead of 6.5 or 7.5, so it makes uh, the game a little tougher. And towards the end, uh, white lost a few stones on the bottom, and this uh, made the game closer. So white uh, won it by 9.5 instead of 20 or more. Let's see what happened. So black starts with the Sun SA, an influence oriented strategy, and white approaches the corner. That's a really good move. Of course, white can also uh, consider the Sun Sun invasion, which is uh, the top AI recommendation in this kind of uh, situation. But playing uh, one Kakari or the other is the most natural way to, to approach uh, black Sun SA. So nothing wrong with this. Black plays a pretty surprising move going on the second line instead of defending the corner on the fourth line first. Like this, black can put more emphasis to the top side. But the way he plays, he really wants to surround the corner. So white makes a base. White can uh, think about the double approach to, to punish black for not playing something around f16 so here black usually goes out between white stones but white can play a peep and connect so like this the moyo from the top is going to vanish right away anyway nothing wrong to, to take a base but in this case black can go back and secure the top side and now it's a bit harder to invade the, the corner because in a situation where black goes f16 right away, white can sun sun. So normally, if uh, black takes the corner at b16, white should be alert and uh, damage the other side. Instead of allowing another move in the top, like this, or f17, f16 to enclose most of that area. Anyway, black desperately invades the left side. This is probably not the largest point. Locally, uh, black can consider an approach like this, or of course the sun sun invasion, or attach c4, d3, or simply play away, for example p3 or p4 to prevent the lower right corner enclosure. So Black's invasion just shows that he doesn't want to let any uh, territory for white on the left side. And white plays a pincer, that's very natural. Because if uh, white simply jumps out, black will extend to make a base. And this is a very comfortable way for black to settle on the left side. So pincer, black jumps, and white jumps along. That's a good idea. White also needs to, to secure his stones in the uh, top left area in order to, to fight later in the game. Now black plays the attach, but black could simply turn and then jump out again. On this attach, white can uh, consider the Hane as a first choice. White played the no beat, no beat is also possible, but the Hane will uh, force black into a heavy shape. So when black plays the nobi, White immediately bumps to prevent the table shape formation. So black has to connect uh, with the bamboo and this is a bit heavy locally. And then white can jump g4 or jump again in the center. The thing is that uh, black's formation doesn't have an eye yet. So there are a bunch of stones just hanging there heavy. If um, black decides to cross cut in order to get a better shape for his group, white will just take the territory. White has to accept a few forcing moves, but even so, white can play one Atari to force black into a bad shape before capturing the, the corner. So this will form an empty triangle for black. And again, locally, this is very good for white. So black sacrificed two stones in order to fix some eye shape on the outside, 
but this way white got a very nice uh, corner territory and white can play something like this or jump out because now black is pretty thick so white's group seems a little bit thin if just came out black defends the top then white can play shimari or some other move so white played the nobi that's the second option to think about locally also very good black push once bump very well. uh, it's just okay to secure the corner like this and take away a liberty and black should also bump to fix some uh, eye shape for his group mm, this jump it's a bit uh, loose luckily black can play a one space jump like that in order to make some eye shape on the way out to the center but playing this kind of um, far extension it's a bit thin so now white can just honey and push between black stones then go for the left side another way for white is to play the kema to separate the group from the bottom so now if black extends for a base on the bottom side honey will work to capture the two stones and if black protects the left side against that uh, kind of cut white will uh, pinch around the bottom so this way again uh, black's g4 it's kind of punished because he does have a base and has to run out and for white it's quite easy to to fight this way attacking uh, two e groups the one on the left side and the new group on the bottom why decided to come from the right uh if white doesn't want to play anything uh, locally a move like o3 is pretty big too so now black very lightly in uh invades the bottom i mean attacks the, approaches the corner uh, here it's quite natural for white to play a pincer in order to give some support to his j3 stone something like this or a high and far pincer entry would be a pretty nice option and then extend to the right side this way uh why doesn't even have to play another move at l3 or l4 because he already got uh got j3 in place so why can turn in the corner maybe black will choose the kick then fix the corner but white has an ideal shape both on the bottom side and the right side nothing to complain here so kema then black extends to go for moyo black should actually continue locally with r3 pull back and then extend for a base now in this case j3 is pretty thin so white has to jump out to fix it so black goes for a middle side extension which requires uh, sun sun invasion that's very good because of the double wing formation all these uh, star points for black usually uh, get to the sun sun invasion at r17 that's a very good way to counter this formation black blocks uh, the top side because he has more potential to set up a moyo there that's the right decision now hane and even double hane that's an option too normally black can uh, just push stay ahead and then if you play the old school joseki we end up with this kind of wall so black has uh, the wall facing the middle side extension which is just fine in this particular case but white uh, got the corner in center so white can still invade the top to damage the moyo but now black uh, play double honey and in this case white connect is solid but that's a bit uh, slow the moves that white should consider are either cut on the right side and capture the stone this is the basic variation uh, to consider when playing the double honey joseki <clears throat> or if uh, white doesn't agree with black's plan of building the top side then white has to honey the other side and cut now when this happens 
usually black has to pay attention not to get uh, trapped by the double the double atari at uh, q15 so black should just connect q15 properly then white takes the ponuki in the top now black can capture the three stones with atari or just nobi nowadays uh, ai recommends atari right away but in joseki dictionary we usually see s18 because like this um, you want to prevent the end game in that corner so when atari here uh, later on white can atari like this and connect under but this way black is very thick on the right side when black simply plays the nobi white has the clamp on the right or the attached at, uh, p15 that can affect uh, the liberty race on the right side so that's why uh, it's slightly better for black to capture at s17 right away but at this stage uh, white can already tenuki so locally white has the extension like this or like this or m16 but white it's already fine white got the ponuki so a tenuki like this is possible too so this would be the fighting spirit variation where uh, white gives the three stones in the top but captures the ponuki in order to prevent black's moyo getting too large in the top now of course white can uh, uh, black can also think about a way to to resist and counter attack this plan so black can play atari but in this case white will connect and now there is mei between the cut at r14 or escape at uh, o17 so if black takes the ponuki in the top white will cut and capture the stone on the right side now compared to the standard uh, double honey joseki variation in this case white also saved the corner so white didn't lose the two stones as before and well black got the ponuki and the wall facing uh, the the top left which is what he wanted originally but white is happy to take the corner and be like 15 points there instead of just a few so what happened in the game just connect like this uh white is actually accepting a smaller corner than he was supposed to get in any of the josekis and white needs to play more to to stay alive black can actually connect solid q15 so white has to hane block connect now white is alive in the corner but black is center so black can grab another big point or attach here and fix the base on the bottom so luckily this is a success for black because black uh, overplayed and white didn't punish so connecting here it's uh, not enough resistance why should consider the the cut or the honey and the cut in the top now white plays the honey and leaves uh, black doesn't have to try that move the proper way to defend it's 017 because of the cuts in the top and already the group in the corner is the l formation with two legs or two extensions so this group is already alive uh, black's attempt to kill is just a, a waste of codrets so that's the right way to make two eyes because now white has me between uh, q19 and t15 so when black takes one point white will get the other one and when black plays here white can ignore already the connection is fine because it's aiming to cut at p17 so it takes away liberty but in fact white can play away and now when uh, black cuts white has a tie on the outside and this is a snapback so it's just fine but anyway after white connects black has to come back and protect against the cut and he did that but normally 017 is the right formation here because at some point white can use the pip and then cut like this well this requires uh, the leather to be fine for uh, white but in this case it looks okay for black so later on 
but if later black doesn't have the ladder like this, black is forced to play Atari the other way, and now he will lose the top stones. That's why it's better to protect with a tiger mount instead. So white invades, very good. Black should actually attack from f17, because this will enclose the corner, and now white is forced to run out. Jump again maybe, because for me the other direction is an option too, or attach and go up. Playing the shoulder hit like this, white can live under, and that's quite comfortable. Good for white to play the push in the top. And before extending again, white should play a peep to see how black reacts. Because later on, uh, this can affect the corner, as white can... Uh, just uh, connect like this and if black plays here after white leaves in the top uh, white can also push through and connect on the left so it's a good probe or a good ASCII move to be played right now anyway this slide is okay after this uh, Han is played um, the, the C17 move will probably lose some uh, power but it's still an option for white. So black attaches. Mm, white doesn't need to play too active here. It's good enough to push and push out. Luckily already white can leave. So, and the group is also actually out in the middle. Um, well, white can also leave on the spot with this move, but then black will uh, block immediately in center, so this is a bit painful. So in this case, just uh, go up. Once uh, white plays the Hane, this should normally lead to a trade. So white has to go for um, a Ponuki. And then either come out or just attach to make eyes in the top. But this way, uh, white is losing the stones in the on the other side. Well, this shows fighting spirit, but playing the cut and pull back is not so great. It seems like it's losing points, and then still add another stone to leave. Uh, at least, why should turn and try to come out first? This is uh, a bit too submissive overall. So, black covers, but he didn't need to. Black could play away already. White got life in Gote, pretty small, so now black should switch to, to the bottom side. Uh, black is alive both in the top left corner and in the top right area, so he doesn't need this kind of move in Gote, and it doesn't affect the, the top group anymore, because white is also alive. This peep mm, is a bit risky. Black doesn't have to connect, black can uh, fight back, attach and go up, separate that stone. Or simply leave it, play away, either pincer or attach, because when uh, white cuts, black is still fine. Well, black might need to worry about uh, C17, so in that case, again attach and go out between uh, white groups. But the connection here was just too kind. Black got uh, an ugly shape and he just connects on neutral points where he's already alive. So it's a waste. Now this kind of peep, it's actually Ajikeshi because white could always use the D8 Hane and try to cut. So playing like this, it kind of helps black. And then white comes out, that's a good idea. It's a bit safer to play a one space jump and then black should do the same thing to fix his group on the left side. And after this, White has to consider some pincer to put pressure on uh, P4 and also fight for the last open area on the board, which is the bottom side. The Ogema, it's a move that uh, keeps the group out in the center, but also limits the potential in the top, so it's not too bad. Now, this approach is not really needed. White being in danger on the bottom should simply jump out, because black is also thin, so black has to jump too and then counter-attack with an invasion and then simply 
connect to the corner oops uh, push and go down take away some liberties so playing like this uh, is going to help black a bit in the fight black just blocks and now it's a bit tougher for j3 to escape now the wedge here uh, it's a bit uh, questionable because it uh, gives black a pretty solid position on the bottom and white's corner is not going to be too large mo mostly over concentrated but here black made a mistake black should capture the stone then white has to go down black can push once then hunt it the other way uh, to expand his bottom side and try to reduce the corner and then approach the, the right side so overall uh, black can try to catch the, the mark stone on a large scale building all this area where a few moves ago white had a pretty nice potential and also reinforce the right side a little bit while uh, white just keeps the corner so this could be better for black but the connection uh, solid is not so great because white uh, can also atari in the center but for now white goes down to keep the corner well in this case black can push and again honey on the second line then jump out to increase his bottom area this is a pretty good plan for black locally um, playing r7 it's maybe a bit too close to white thickness so on the right side it's safer for black to play r8 and next go r uh, s6 so if white plays atari for example black can slide again then on the kosumitsuke go up pull back and then defend the atari so this way white counter attacks that's not a bad idea but here black should consider the sacrifice push again and give up the stone in order to keep center the proverb says that it's good to give up a few stones or a few points for center so let's say we have this thing on the board and then jump once in the center so this way black can get a lot of um, potential in the middle area by giving up one little stone on the side so black goes up this creates more cutting points and the uh, fight looks quite promising for white here uh why should actually no be first to prevent the tiger mount and when black tries to connect push out with atari because like this black can ignore the atari and play the tiger mount and try the attack on the side stones <clears throat> Mm, it's still safer to play the nobi and then go out between the groups if black honey white can also honey on this cut atari wants to give uh, black a bad shape and then go up so black seems more in trouble than white in this fight because black also needs to fix his uh, bottom group so white goes out black x uh runs out too now i fix the right side that's a good decision easier to fight after that and instead of pushing like this why should find better ways to cut for example attach here this would be a tesuji if black tries to connect this way white can separate and then when black comes out in the center white has the atari then jump and now black got the middle group in trouble the bottom and the other the other bottom group two groups on the bottom in danger so this should be an easier fight for white like this uh, black can connect too easy and if white uh, plays the tesuji and black will honey <coughs> uh, white can pull back then push again Atari once and cut so this way uh, black connects quite easily Tra trying to cut the uh, Ikentobi like this is not a great idea it's better to wedge 
and try to cut the other way. And now black again has several cutting points to cons uh, to worry about. So playing this move actually forced black to connect, which means it was an Ajikashi. And black could connect solid here, because that's where white wants to cut. Playing this move is just fancy. Maybe uh, black is hoping white doesn't see the self atari and will just cut and be killed. But white can connect and then black needs to connect. And later this got black. So white plays away. Peep, reduce the bottom side, that's fine. This peep is good too. But this move is not so urgent right now. Uh, white can play a Hane and connect to secure the corner. Black will probably connect under and then just jump in the middle or play an Atari on the right side. Because anyway, if uh, black pushes like this, he's just going to capture one stone. So white is still fine. And if black plays uh, a move like this, which is actually a Tesuji, it's not going to be a very big capture. Only a couple of stones this way. So white could uh, Tenoki instead. Now here, white should block with a snapback. This is a much better connection. If black captures one stone, white will take three stones back. And now white is also threatening the double Atari. So when black plays away, double Atari here. Like this, black can still push and cut, so it's dangerous. But black had to connect first. Now with this move, uh, white is trying to cut M6. But black didn't pay attention. Black had to come back and protect. So this is a pretty nice catch for white, and that's how white takes the advantage. <clears throat> so good came up for white to uh, reduce the center. This is another fight where white could uh, get a few extra points. Instead of connecting right away, white can Atari, Atari again, and cut. Because when uh, white cuts, uh, sorry, black cuts. So if this happens, let's go back a few moves. Uh, instead of connecting, white plays Atari, Atari again, then connect. If black plays the cut, uh, white has a double Atari. So with this double Atari, white already captures the five stones, which are the keystones. So white is connected, and when black goes out, White can also resist in the fight in the center. So there's nothing to worry about. This would be a collapse. Uh, white wins big. So like that, black luckily comes back and connect. Now instead of Hane, just Novi. Here black can play Atari first and then capture the stone. Now, this was a little bit dangerous. But actually the move is fine. Ah, instead of playing this move to defend, uh, black shoot Atari and then capture the stone. Now there is no way for white to connect to the top. If white plays the wedge, black will just Atari and play a bamboo connection. Atari here doesn't help. Atari again, not a problem. Uh, honey like this, black can go down. So all those stones die inside. When white blocks here, black captures these guys. So this empty triangle allowed white connecting the top. The wedge is very good. So now if black cuts, white has a snapback. And here another wedge. And white managed to, to damage a few points. Black should still attack the five stones and then come inside the middle. push mm. it's better to block right away Atari Atari again and leave the position like this maybe secure the middle in fact turn here not to allow the uh, the Atari in center for black 
Uh, there's a better way to defend locally. D2, because when uh, black turns, white blocks, and then on the honey under, white can block. And the shape is much better in the corner and secures more points. Now in this case, when black turns, white can play E3 in order to prevent the honey in center. Like this, black can also play F1 and then white has to give up a few more stones. This is dangerous for black. Uh, black can just ignore, play the honey, then jump again in the center. Because if white plays some uh, moves around here, black is all connected. So anyway, black is not going to make points unless he plays this move. And even so, he's uh, struggling for two or three extra points. Like this, white can just cut. Very good. And black had to connect under. That's a fine option. Finally, the Atari. Um, this cut is actually no need because black is already connected under. So better turn when black jumps, white blocks. So black enters a little bit. Now this is where white makes a mistake. White can cut, then black has to cap uh, to go out, take, turn, and white is all connected. So white can play away, push here. Like this, instead of connecting for an extra point in the middle, white should link the bottom stones. Because when black plays here, this will just false one eye, but it's not important, white is already alive. I mean, that's just the damage for one point. Now, this way, uh, white is losing many points. The capture here is worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points. Close to 20 points because of all the surrounding territory that normally black is not going to make if white keeps connected. So when white plays here, Black needs to play J2 to make like 2 or 3 points on the bottom. Otherwise, those points will disappear too. So why could win this game by 30 points? About. That's a very good defense. D2. And for Black to jump at D1 is got eh? But if there is nothing else bigger to play, it's fine. This throw-in is no need. This is like uh, white is playing uh, time surge moves. White can push once, but that's pretty much it. So black protects properly. Black should just connect solid. If white pushes again, uh, black can block. White needs to come back. Black can push once and leave the position like this. Now play away. So white found a way to, to get back a few points. That's really good. The sequence is forced. Very smart sacrifice. And here actually white made a, a little profit. On a connect, that's fine. Uh, no need to connect the core right away. That's the last thing to, to fight for. Right now push here in center, one point. Then make another point in the middle. Then if uh, black pushes here, Atari connect. And now it's time to fill the core. Uh, oh, actually not yet. Connect here. In fact, black will play the Atari in center, then push in Gote, and now white fills the core. This is how the game should end. This is a uh, one point in center. Now some more damage. Uh, that's just an illusion. Black cannot leave. I thought it's okay. Capture, very good. And now count the score. Ah oh, yeah, black was supposed to connect. Feel the call. So now we play the last call. Instead of playing Atari there, uh, white plays should play Atari inside to have more co threats and then Atari outside. But white can also play the cut 
and when black captures there is Atari here then Atari again and after that Atari like this lots of cotrets in that area playing just Atari uh, black will connect so it's only one threat but white has more way more cotrets so white won the call and the game well done on this one 